Alright folks, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I want to show you a quick tip or trick today that I think you're really going to like. It is something that's kind of outside the box thinking, but you can carry it in your fire kit. It's not going to take up a lot of room, but it will give you the ability to develop a very large ember very quickly that you can use to put with a bird nest to affect ignition. Stay with me and we'll get started. Okay, what we need for this, or what works really good for this in the eastern woodlands, is we need to look on the forest floor. And you can see this plant that's growing on the ground here is called ground cedar. And you can see that there are dead pieces of this ground cedar. We want to collect these dead pieces because these are what we're going to use for our embers. So we need to go through and just find the dead stuff. We don't want the green ones. We want the ones that have died off. And we're going to collect a pretty good pile of those up. And we're going to use those to make our ember. And we may have to look around a little bit. We might not find them all in one spot. But if they're under the snow, they might be a little damp. But we don't really care if they're damp as long as they're not soaking wet. So we'll just pick through here. Get ourselves a good little handful of them here. There we go. And we only want the tops. So we're going to take those tops pull them off and then we're going to use these tops for the next portion of our ember. I've gotten my bush pot out now and inside my bush pot I have my basic fire kit, ferrocenium rod, magnifying glass and lighter. But I also have a pipe and we are going to stuff this pipe with this ground cedar just like this and we really want to get it jammed in there as good as we can, just like this. Now we're going to take our magnifying glass and head for the sun. I can almost get a flame out of this. You can see it flaming up. Now we take this back to camp and this is what we put in our bird nest. 